Today I'm talking about Defending Jacob by William Landy. It's about an assistant district attorney who has a very quiet suburban life. He's very respected in the office and he lives with his wife Lori and his teenage son Jacob and there seems to be um, one of the kids, one of the other teenagers where Jacob goes to school, is stabbed to death at a local park and they're trying to figure out uh, who committed this crime and somehow um, everything points to Jacob, his son. So on the one hand, he needs to stay as removed as possible from the case because it turns out that it's his son who's being prosecuted. On the other hand, he's trying all he can to prove that Jacob is not really the pervert and the perp. So it's, it's a struggle um, for the whole family and the legal system and how he's training comes into question when the tragedy hits so hard but something that I would have changed about this book is the title Defending Jacob because it kind of gives you when the first chapter of the book he starts talking about Jacob his son and her and his wife Lori it kind of gives out too much of the story the title Defending Jacob I would have put something benign if I ever wrote this book and also um I think the story is not as visual and captivating as I would like it to be because oftentimes I try to close my eyes every time I read a story I try to close my eyes and picture if I had to pick up this book as a director or a movie maker or anything of that sort and try to imagine how these characters look like the locations I don't get a good visual so overall I would give a three to this book I know there's a big hype about this book when it came out but um, definitely, I would give it a 3 out of 5. But again, check it out. Thank you. Bye.